What's up, everybody? It is Coach Adam here from Decentralized Strength and Conditioning. Today is Saturday, April 13th, 2024, and I am on week 100 of my own personal fitness journal. And I do this journal to keep myself accountable, but also to really show you uh, what type of habits and routines it takes to really reach your goals and to also maintain them throughout a really long period of time over years and uh my main goals here for 2024 is really just to max out my physique my fitness levels and my athleticism in terms of my physique i just really want to be able to see uh, my year ab uh, my year ab my lower abs year round but i also want to try to increase my muscle mass to about 160 pounds and right now, it's really tough for me to get over the 150-pound marker. Uh, you know, and uh, I'm only going to the, I'm only doing a really uh, hard workout, I guess. You know, two days a week over this past month here, so that's something too. Uh, but maybe you know, 155 might just be my lucky number, and uh, you know, 160 will probably take a lot more uh, work. To get there and especially right now since i am kind of rehabbing my right shoulder my whole right side uh you know it might take a little bit longer to get that muscle mass up a little bit higher but you know it's a slow and steady process there and in terms of my fitness levels i want to maintain a sub 515 on the two mile bike test and then average seven to ten thousand steps in addition to 20 to 30 minutes of continuous activity every day, that really keeps my uh, short-term fitness levels and my long-term endurance fitness levels uh, up to par. Um, the other thing I do twice a week is I do some really high-intensity interval training. So I'm going hard for about 10 seconds, and then I'm resting for a whole minute. And then I'll do that for seven to eight rounds of that. And then in terms of my athleticism, I got to do get you a vertical jump. I've been doing power and uh, power workout two times a week. So that's an improvement over the past uh, couple of weeks where I was maybe only doing a power workout once a week, if at all. So I'm doing better with that. I need to get some testing for a... Uh, uh, sprint test so a 40 yard dash or 10 yard dashes with some timers so that's another thing that i got to kind of incorporate a little bit more is some really uh some uh full out sprints for speed not for conditioning but for speed i already do some uh of the anaerobic capacity with the treadmill runs but i want to do some outside sprints or maybe do some sprints up a hill or something like that as well. And now that the weather's getting nicer, I could do some beach sprints too. So that should be fun. Uh, a few other things here. I'm trying to maintain 3.25 calories, 1,000 to 3,500 uh, calories a day. I stick to a salt, oil, and sugar-free diet. So all the packet, all the food that I get the packaging. If you look at the back, it's not going to have any added ingredients. It's just going to be the raw ingredients. And then I'm adding some healthy salts, uh, some really high quality salts to my food. And then I'm also been supplementing with uh, nutritional yeast as well. I've been adding that to a lot of my food. Loaded in B vitamins is a complete protein. Uh, the other thing I've been doing is I ordered a whole bunch of raw nuts off Amazon. And uh, that's kind of a whole new thing I'm doing right now where I'm actually uh, food prepping almost, I guess. I'm buying a bunch of food in bulk now to save money primarily. And then I'll I'll weigh it out and I'll put it in little Ziploc bags. And then I'll put it in the freezer or the fridge and I'll have food for, you know, four or five days. And uh, we'll see how it goes. I haven't really had any issues where I'm going and grabbing the food and cooking it. Uh, you know, late at night or anything. So that is a positive. Uh, the other thing I need to do <clears throat> is really focus on my hydration and not overdoing the coffee and the honey. So that's a big thing as well. And then I want to be able to kind of relax more and read and be able to focus doing that a bit. And I need to get back out and do a bit more 
competitive sports, some social sports, you know, uh, surfing, golf, pickleball, all those good things. So I need to get back into that more. Let's go over my slide here on uh, how not to reach my goals. You know, if I train through pain and injuries, then uh, I'm going to have to take time off, kind of like with the shoulder here, and I'm not going to be able to reach my goals. I'm going to get in my head and all those things. So we want to uh, not train through pain and think about the lawn picture here. Uh, if I have easy access to unhealthy foods or processed foods, then I'm definitely going to eat them throughout the day. So I try not to eat any of those things. It's kind of the same thing with coffee. If I have some ground coffee av available throughout the day, I'm probably going to make some coffee. Uh, it's the same thing with eating processed foods. I'm just not going to be able to reach my goals if I'm eating the processed foods. If I have a lot of free time, then I am not going to be making healthy decisions, probably. Um, and if I'm drinking too much coffee and not enough water, I'll be dehydrated, I'll be burnt out, and I won't be able to be as productive. So some injury things here is I'm really just fixing the, uh, really focusing on uh, the whole, the shoulder capsule here, the bicep, the chest, uh, all these muscles have just been really jacked up over the past year or so. So I've been taking the last three weeks and really um, focusing on some soft tissue, self-massage, doing extra stretches. And now I'm going to be incorporating some rehab exercise. So I took some videos and we'll talk about that. So I'm doing like some swimmers, more wise ITWs. I'm going to be doing just a lot of volume uh, to really build up the musculature first and work on the communication between the muscles. And then I'm not going to do any really big strength stuff because uh, it really puts way too much stress on those uh, tendons. So uh, that's really one of the issues I have. Let's talk about my activity report here uh one thing i really need to focus more on is like i said incorporate an hour of mind stimulating activity with movement so that would be like that surf pickleball playing pool playing darts doing things like that uh in addition to doing 20 to 30 minutes of continuous activity a day in addition to doing my warm-up stretching uh self-massage and those uh rehab uh exercises for my hips for my upper body as well and if i look at our my stats for the last two weeks here my body weight has been an average of 155 pounds uh, my calories have been right around 3300 closer to the 3400 right in the zone that i like my protein has been 216 grams average throughout the last two weeks and the goal is to at least eat your body weight in grams of protein and then i like to add an additional 50 grams at least just to maintain muscle and build muscle and then my goal is to maintain an average of seven to ten thousand steps and i'm getting that basically every day in addition to doing maybe 20 30 minutes on a treadmill or maybe a uh, a self bike where i am just on i'm only walking nothing too difficult easy on the joints but i'm just trying to build up those long distance energy systems um that's really the goal there so you can see that i have some yellow highlighted uh those were that was last week um where i just really was kind of burnt out a little bit <clears throat> from probably drinking too much coffee and not hydrating enough breaking one of my rules but on uh, the fifth Friday, I felt like it was a good turnaround day. Uh, gained a lot of energy back, rested a lot over the weekend and through the week. And this weekend here, this is Saturday that I'm filming this, uh, the 13th here. Uh, I'm feeling pretty good, got a lot of energy, ready to do a lot of work and stuff like that. So that's the reason behind some of the highlight highlighted stuff on that excel sheet so we'll finish up here with talking about uh phase four here for april 2024 it's a 
strength phase. So all my big lifts, the hip lifts, I'm doing single leg squats, pull downs, uh, I'm doing a landmine press. All those exercises are going to be three to five reps. And then on the second block of exercises, I'm keeping those between 15 and 20. Uh, and those exercises are always going to be the opposite muscle group that we are using for that main exercise block. So if I'm doing hip lifts, I'll do a high volume uh, hip uh, knee dominant movement. And since I'm doing a press and landmine press for three reps, I'm going to do a rowing exercise for 15 to 20 reps on that second block exercise. And then uh, I've been doing really good with doing two full body workouts a week where I'm doing the full warm-up, I'm doing power and core, I'm doing my two blocks, and then I'm doing conditioning. But I need to add uh, doing more of my arm party vanity exercises. I still want to you know, keep the muscle mass up on the upper body, and I really got to focus on doing the exercises for uh, the right arm here and building that back up so I can actually go out and enjoy the activities that I like, which I'm a right-handed person, so... I got to fix that, fix this up here over the next month, two months. Uh, so hopefully by June, uh, when the water is warmer, my shoulder will be ready to hit the waves better, I hope. So that wraps up this week. Uh, pretty successful week when I look back at it. Pretty happy. Um, yeah, so until next time, stay safe and keep grinding.